Hi everybody, it's Mario with Dell Technologies. Thank you for taking some time out of your day today as we look at utilizing the Dell Command Integration Suite to automatically import in new Windows PE drivers into SCCM. As we're all aware, there are a lot of changes going on right now within client computing. You know, Dell is leading, leading the charge by coming out with new models and form factors, but also looking at, at how do we improve current form factors and current models with things like Intel Optane Memory. Sometimes when you get these new hardwares and these new devices into your environment, you'll notice that you're not able to image them. When you try to image, you'll, you'll get an error right away saying there's no network access or there's no hard drive available. Nine times out of ten, those issues are due to the fact that your Windows PE image is missing the drivers that it's needed to talk to those hardware models. Dell realizes that this is a problem, so what we have done is taken all of the necessary imaging drivers and packaged them up into Windows PE driver packages. With using the Dell Command Integration Suite, we can even go one step further by automatically finding, downloading, and injecting in the appropriate drivers into our boot images. So to look at that, let's go ahead and launch SCCM. So over here, I'm going to go ahead and right click and launch SCCM as an administrator. Okay, now that SCCM is loaded, we're going to go down to Software Library, Operating Systems, Boot Images. Now if you notice, in this environment we have two boot images. They are both Windows 10, one is a 64-bit and one is a 32-bit. Since we've already installed the Dell Command Integration Suite, we actually have a button up here called Dell Command WinPE Driver Library Import. Let's go ahead and select that button. Once it loads, the first window we're going to get is going to ask us whether or not we have a proxy. We don't, so we're going to go ahead and select Next. When we select Next, it's going to go to Dell.com and download metadata about all of our published WinPE driver packages. Once the metadata has been downloaded, you'll see the results here. So as you can see, we have four WinPE driver packages right now published to Dell.com. We have a 32-bit and 64-bit Windows 10 PE driver package and a 32-bit and 64-bit Windows 7 PE driver package published. Here we're going to go ahead and select our Windows 10 WinPE driver packages and select Next. Now in the first box here we're going to get asked what boot images do we want to use. So what will happen is, is after the tool downloads the Windows PE driver packages and imports all the drivers into SCCM it will automatically inject the appropriate drivers into our boot image for us. In the second box, we're going to select the distribution points that we want to target the new boot image to. And here in the third box, we'll leave it by default, but this is where you would change the, the path of where you want to store the drivers. So now let's go ahead and select Next. And here is where we're going to get our summary. So just to confirm, we are downloading the Windows 10 64-bit and Windows 10 32-bit PE drivers that Dell released on January the 10th, 2018. We're going to automatically inject those, those drivers into our 64-bit and 32-bit Windows 10 boot images. So let's go ahead and select Finish. So here is a, probably a good place to stop, go get some coffee, go have lunch. We're going to go ahead and pause the video and when this is done we'll come back and kind of walk through everything the tool did and look at the logs. Okay, our packages are now done. So if you take a look at the log, you'll see that it ran for about 20, 20, 25 minutes. But what we did is go ahead and downloaded the cab files, went ahead in, created, copied out the existing boot image, created a new boot image, and injected all of the necessary drivers into it. So if we go ahead and hit close, come back here and refresh, you now see that we have our existing boot images, well, we also have the new Dell boot images that have the appropriate drivers in it. So now, if I had to, I could come into my Windows 10 task sequence, right-click, select Properties, going into Advanced, and move the boot image down to the 64-bit Windows 10 boot image that has the appropriate drivers. Okay, 
So now you have seen, use, by using the Dell Command Integration Suite along with the Windows PE drivers, we can very quickly support new models and new technology in our existing SCCM infrastructure. I hope you all enjoyed the video and can see some of the uses out of these tools. If you have any questions, please leave us a comment and keep an eye open for the next video as we continue to explore the uses and functionality of the Dell Command Integration Suite. Thanks and have a great day.